Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Afar and in this video we are going to discuss about very simple but uh, most of the time ignored uh, element of the research article. So what happens when uh, we talk about new researchers, uh, they either forget or they don't give that much importance to table of comparison. It, it's not always necessary but uh, sometimes we feel that we have provided enough comparison in the literature uh, portion of your article because in the introduction mostly we provide the information about those papers uh, which are relevant to our work and uh, they have been published previously and in the last paragraph of your uh, introduction uh, of your paper uh, in that we gave information that what we are going to do so that's a good correlation between what has been done and what you are going to do or what you are going to propose in this paper so that's quite enough but there is one uh, way which you will find in many papers and this is probably highly needed in the good channels which is the comparison table. So for example in my case uh, we de developed many uh, sensors, uh, specifically flex sensors means flexible sensors. So we provide enough data in the manuscript which supports that uh, our work is uh, improved version or somehow it has better uh, options uh, or features than the previously published uh, data but uh, you know there is a lot of uh, quantitative information or features uh, of your device which can be compared with those of uh, many other sensors which have been proposed in uh, last few years but uh, you know when you talk about sensors obviously hundreds of sensors have already been developed by many researchers but you cannot uh, compare with all those sensors uh, but you can specifically select few uh, uh, papers which have been recently published and uh, you can make a table and compare your work with them and it's not necessary that uh, all the features of your sensor or all the features that you are going to propose in the paper they are better than and they have to be better than other uh, you know researchers no that's not necessary but some of those uh, parameters would be obviously better than previously published data so good impression on editor of the journal the reviewers of course because it becomes very easy for them to recognize and compare your work and highlight the novelty of your work and most importantly which i believe that uh, you know it becomes very supportive uh, for the people who are going to read your article Sometimes they have to uh, read all those relevant papers uh, which are presented, uh, which are provided in your paper, but uh, it becomes difficult. But if you are providing a comparison table, that becomes pretty much easy for them to, you know, just scroll down and jump to that paper. Uh, and that also gives a unique set of information that, okay, this paper has this kind of parameter which is higher. So they can easily target that one. So there's a scientific process of learning, providing a very, I mean, uh, supportive environment for your readers who are going to read your article. And of course, for your own uh, easiness, because editors and uh, reviewers, they provide, uh, they uh, claim, or uh, they demand comparison of people in most of the papers. Alright, so here there are a few examples that we follow uh, while publishing our research papers. So here you can see we have one research paper which is on soft strength sensor and the applications of uh, the this kind of sensor were focused on waterproof robotic applications and of course wearable applications. So I'm directly taking you to the table of content, uh, table of comparison uh, which you can see over here. Let me zoom it so yeah here you can see all those materials which have been used previously as a sensing material they have been reported because uh, that was published in 2020 and that time there were not a lot of papers on that specific type of sensor that we developed that is liquid type strength sensor so mostly we added all those uh, research articles but, but sometimes when you're going to uh, publish a paper maybe on that specific area we have lot of other papers so you have to just pick those which are highly relevant and recently published so that thing you have to take into account and you can see over here strain 
some papers have reported maximum of 50%, some have 100%, some have also reported 250% and some even have reported 1000%. However, normally the last row of your table of comparison that shows your own work that you have proposed in this particular article. So you can see that uh, some features our sensor is leading, right? Uh, even this one is uh, on the second. Uh, here it's even second. Uh, simulation, yes, we have done. And linearity, yes, we are also in, in a better position. But in frequency, because we were targeting this for robotics application, so we proved that our sensor is uh, very pretty much capable of uh, targeting high-end robotic application. So you, 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 you can see over here that in not all those features are sensors leading and that's pretty much okay because uh, it's not necessary. But you, you know, you are making life of uh, many researchers very easy because they can come here and see the table. They can directly go to that uh, reference, you know, search it and further read it. So it, it becomes a very scientific way of uh, helping the scientific community and also, you know, increasing the chances of your paper's acceptance uh, because editors, reviewers, they really like it. Same the case with this one. We developed a separator for a lithium-ion battery and I'm going to take you to the comparison table you can see. And very interesting thing I'm going to tell you uh, while we submitted this paper to the journal, the same journal, uh, we didn't add this uh, comparison table. But one reviewer, he suggested us that kindly add the comparison table and we added it and I think that uh, it really helped us to improve the quality of, your, of our manuscript. So you can see again here that all type of separators which are reported, we have added that and then that's our work. Similarly, this is the uh, second strength sensor. I am going to uh, make a video on strength sensor, how we developed it, same like uh, humidity sensor uh, that I made a video a few couple of days before. So let's directly jump to the comparison table. Again, you can see all those papers have been reported and uh, this is the last row and that shows our article. So I think that's it from my side. I, I would suggest the new researchers to kindly add the comparison table, whichever field you belong to, because uh, that increases the chances of acceptability and also a very comprehensive paper uh, comes into a final form and uh, people really take it in a very uh, positive way. Thank you so much uh, for watching the video. If you have any questions, do let me know. Thank you.